Hi, this is Jim Whitley from the World Famous Tool Shed located 1073 Main Street in Worcester. Hours this week are Wednesday through Saturday 1 to 5. Uh, information can be found on the website at use-tools.com and uh, Instagram at Worcester underscore tool underscore shed. Uh, what else do I got to say? I guess that's about it. So we got a whole bunch of pipe clamps. The Fat Boys, three-quarter inch, uh, they're pretty long, six, eight feet. Those are $15 each for the most part. Uh, there's a couple skinny ones in there that are $10. Rigid shop backs, $25. The Delta uh, bandsaw is $325. We have a DA, which is brand new and marked at the incredible price of $17.50. Top box 40, bottom box 30. That one may be sold though, so it may not be there. The Gerstner box is $100. Bargain table this week is at $2. More pipe clamps. And we got $10 on this guy, another skinny guy, $10. $15 on the Fat Boy, $25 on the Jorgensen heavy duty clamp. And that is about six feet long also. I have a whole bunch of C clamps to go through, ranging in price from probably like two bucks up to 1250 whole bunch of spring clamps most of those are 75 cents the weller soldering gun is seven dollars and fifty cents 65 dollars on the uh dewalt plate uh plate joiner forty dollars on the rigid offset um wrench makita table saws 250 the bosch 12 inch miter saw is 220 there are some Bossage nails needed price. The tape measure is $6, $15 on the crown back saw. There is torpedo level dollar, some just regular pliers, dollar, dollar fifty. The uh, angled needle nose, those are $3.50, dollar on the little box. Uh, Malco crimpers, those are $12.50, $13.50 on the uh, hand plane. The Bostitch Brad Nailer is $35. The saw blade is $4.50. Forstner bits. This is $17.50 on the whole kit. This guy here, the old timey spoke shave, is $8. The Rockler Universal Draw Slide Jig, that is $15. There is a radius. Uh, corner plane that's ten dollars five dollars on the vice grips and dollar on the keyhole saw the leather punch um that is three dollars and fifty cents and holding this thing up with my leg what else we have under here the um feeler gauge dollar fifty air chuck dollar fifty the stanley scratch all is two dollars rigid oscillating tool fifty dollars Dividers, uh, that is priced at something. What the hell did I write there? $3.50, $5 on the rivet tool, $2.50 on the air sprayer, $1.50 on the sanding block, $2 on the knife. The Rockler Jigget, this is $7. Laminate roller, $3.50. Tack hammer, $10. Rubber hammer, this is $1.50. The wooden mallet is $2.50. Big ass dividers. They are $3, $3, and $3.50. Um, $2 on the, on the outlet strip. Bessie clamps, these are $20 each. The Jorgensen heavy duty clamps, those are $8.50 each. $15 on this Milwaukee, seven and a quarter. Uh, it doesn't sound quite right, the bearing. I don't know how much life could last another 20 years, may last 20 minutes. I don't know the answer. Uh, the general dowel jig is $8.50. Let me just spin around, make sure I didn't forget anything. The uh, Ryobi saw stand. This, uh, I looked this up yesterday. They make two of them. One of them is $150. The other one is like $89. So we're going to mark this down to $40. It was uh, $65. We get the drop light, which is $3.50, $30 on the laminate um, tool. And I think I just wrote on my sweatshirt with my red marker. $9. Did I write $9 on this? $8. It's all smudged. I got to get a new pen, I think. 
All right, that, that air hose is $9. The turning tools, these are $12.50. These are from uh, my favorite place, the Old Harbor. Drywall square is $8. The crown uh, turning tools, those are $135. All right, more, more uh, pipe clamps, $8, and this guy here is $5. The, the uh, Graco Project Painter Plus is $100. The uh, Furniture Dolly, that's a homemade job, but it's, the guy did a great job. It's $10. Vices, $15, $30, $6, $15, $10, $20. The Xylus Vice is, I think it's 40 or so. Um, don't quote me on that one. It's something like that. I can't remember the price on that. Uh, $45 on this big ass woodworking uh, vice. This is the Beaver Pipe Tool Company. Um, interchangeable dies. Obviously, you look how many dies there are. There's also a box of other dies. It does pipe and it does uh, other threads. And that is $115. Uh, pretty neat little, little setup. Drill presses, $110, $110, $140. $110. The Heinwerner um, Porta Power, that is $100. The Makita compressor under there is $200. The Jack, $20. The router with the um, router and router table included, brand new in the box, that's $100. That Craftsman top box is $55. The Jet Dust Collector, that is a one horsepower, that is $200. This is a, uh, this is a pretty nice box. $45 for the top, and the bottom is the bargain price of $35. It's actually a really, really nice box. Uh, $25 on the Workmate. We got ten dollars on this guy. The the uh, platform for your ladder is nine dollars and fifty cents. This guy here, I think it was twenty. It's twenty bucks on that. The ice and water shield that is a hundred dollars. And we're gonna finish up with what's on the counter. A whole bunch of router bits. Uh, a lot of these are ten dollars to fifteen dollars. Uh, the bushing set. I'm sorry, I forgot to put a price on that. Um, a lot of these are ten to five dollars. The Blue Point wrench set is fifty dollars. This is a Mac pass-through set. This is standard. Uh, it's in excellent condition. It seems to be complete. That's sixty dollars. Whole bunch of three-dollar router bits. Whole bunch of two-dollar router bits. We get a dovetail jig with the dovetail bits, and uh, that's twenty-five dollars for the whole setup. SK. Um, the hell do you call it? Breaker bar, $22.50. T-handle from Craftsman, $7.50. $10 uh, half-inch um, Craftsman ratchet. And not lastly, because there's one more thing I just saw, $7.50 on this breaker bar. We got the Mac set of line wrenches. Actually, they're line wrenches and um, open end wrenches. Those are standard, and that is $40 for the set. So I think that about takes care of it. There's a whole bunch of stuff I still need to go through and uh, we will get there eventually. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Again, Wednesday through Saturday, one, two, five, thanks.